Okay. Stephen Bartlett is coming to Auckland. Apparently it's his first time doing the talk in New Zealand and honestly I thought I would never see the day. But it's fucking happening. My friend Derek, who I recently had on my podcast, was the one who introduced me to the Diary of a CEO. And ever since then, I've been so in love with all the guests that he's had, especially one of my favorites, Mo Gaudat, who was the author of Soul for Happy. Anyways, when the newsletter came in that Stephen was doing his tour, I instantly, for some reason, disregarded any notion of him coming to New Zealand. And so when I saw his tour dates and I saw the tour locations i thought he was only going to be in australia so derek was staying over at the time and i rushed into the room and i was like dude we've got to get tickets to australia so before we started looking at flight tickets i wanted to see how expensive the actual tour was going to be so i was looking through the website trying to buy some tickets and then the location ended up being at the civic in auckland and i was like what the hell this can't be the right event there's no way he would come to auckland and it slowly settled in it slowly settled in and I just looked at Derek and I was like, there is no way, man. <laughs> but I'll be honest, it's not really the talk that I'm looking forward to. I've listened to so many of his podcasts. I know a lot of the things he's talked about. I guess it would be naive for me to say that he's not going to come up with anything new, but I think most of the message that he said has been very well articulated. What I'm really looking forward to is connecting with the people who listen to the Diary of a CEO, because I know that... The people who listen to that, just like Derek was before we actually became friends, are the people that I want to have more of in my life, and especially have on the podcast that I've started. And I thought an amazing way that we could do that is if me and Derek would do some interviews with people using the Diary of a CEO conversation cards. If you don't know what these are, Stephen released them as a set of cards that show the last question that he asked each guest, because the guest from the previous podcast would ask a question to the person in the current podcast and he would list those questions and he made a deck of cards based on all of those questions. To give you an example of them, I'll pick this one out from Crypt. If you could go back in time and change one specific moment in your life, what would that be and why? So before his talk starts, me and Derek are going to be outside around the Civic and doing interviews with people who are obviously going to the show using these cards and asking them questions just to help them reflect on who they are as a person. And from there, I'll be honest, what I would really love to happen is that I can find people who would love to come on my podcast. I did a few of these 2023 yearly reflections with my friends and they ended up going really well. So I'm trying to expand this out and see if I can help anyone else reflect on their year. The way that it's different is that I developed a framework called OctaCore and it's each different area of life that we can find fulfillment in because when I first started this out, I would tell my friends, okay, give me a list of all the things that you achieved in 2023. And they would give me a list of less than 10 things. And the way that I think about it is that we have 52 weeks in the year and you're telling me that you've only done 10 things. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And that's because the framework that we use to think about success is based on corporate business productivity, where we only think about metrics and achievements like this is how much revenue i made or whatever whereas life is not a business life is far more like a game and so i developed a framework to map it out just like the attributes in a game of every area that we can find fulfillment in and it taught me so much about all of my friends that i honestly would have never have known about them especially in the ways that they find fulfillment in what they do. So if you're watching this, I would love to have you on to help you reflect on your year in 2023. Now with that out of the way, I wanted to share some really important information about the event in general that will help you on the day. Stephen Bartlett's talk will be at 8 p.m. Wednesday, April 17th at the Civic in Auckland. The best place to park for this will be at the Civic car park. If you park there after 6 p.m., it will be a $12 flat fee and the event's at eight, so there should be no problem there. And the car park is open till 1 a.m. So there's probably no worries about how long it's going to be. And you can leave your car there and it will cost the same no matter what. In the description of the video, I'll put a link to a Notion document that I'll put all of this information in, including things like where to find free parking if you want to find that and all the map locations and everything else that I come up with. But anyways, I cannot wait to see you there.